uh, welcome to my amazing Mike Stanford show. This show is a shared conversation to one another. And, uh, and let's welcome my friend, Ed McLean, to my show. Welcome, Ed. Thank you, Michael. Yep, and, and, and what do you make sure I, I, your site be, be uh, muted um, for background noises? Okay, uh, Ed, what's one thing I don't know about you? So if you didn't know, Mike, I'm not originally from Sandusky County. I actually graduated school from Jefferson County. So mm. uh, the closest town that you may have heard of uh, in Jefferson County is called Steubenville, Ohio. Mm. And uh, I went to college in Wheeling, West Virginia. That's cool. Yeah. Ed, what is your favorite thing about Synergy Conference? Well, Synergy Conference, I think probably one of the coolest thing is seeing new people, uh, people that go for the very first time and get to experience Synergy. Um, as a member of the Synergy leadership team, it's also cool to kind of help with the planning of Synergy Conference. And I always like, because I work in Northwest Ohio, I always like getting leads for presenters from our Northwest region. So that's exciting too, that we can, we can think of ideas and bring, bring presenters from uh, the Northwest region. That's cool. Yeah. Hey, what is your favorite uh, board games or card game uh, do you play? Right now, um, probably my favorite card game is Euchre. Mm -hmm. And I was growing up, um, and we just talked about this on a recent camping trip. One of my favorite board games was a game called Risk. That's a good game. Yeah. How often do you play those games? So I think Euchre, we probably play that uh, maybe three or four times a year, maybe at parties or get-togethers. Mm -hmm. um, I did actually play Euchre. Um, with a few self-advocates from Marion and Richland County when we had Project Stir over in Canton. Mm -hmm. So we got yeah. to play Euchre um, like in the evening at the dance part of the night. So that was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. Okay, Ed, what kind of music are you into these days? What kind of music? Yeah. Well, I'd like all kinds of music, but probably some stuff that I think is trending and pretty good is some of the new country, but I've always been a fan of rock and roll, mm -hmm. and I even like some of the heavier uh, music, um, some stuff that uh, from the 2000s and, and even the 90s. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Thanks. Yep, Ed, uh, uh, would you rather be Batman or Spider-Man? This is so coincidental because one of the athletes today from our program came in and asked me if who my favorite superhero was. And I told him Batman, so I got to go Batman, Mike. That's cool. Yeah. Have you seen the, the new Batman movies? Which Batman do you like the most? So... I don't know if it's really considered a Batman movie, but the most recent one that I've seen is called The Joker. Mm -hmm. And um, it was good. It, it, it wasn't a feel-good movie, but it was, it was good. But I think my favorite Batman are the early ones with Michael Keaton. I agree. Ed, uh, what, what's new with people first? Well, in, do you mean in Sandusky County or? Yeah, Sandusky County, yeah. County? In Sandusky County, we are getting ready to award our um, Self-Advocacy Excellence Award for the year. We call it the Sparky. And we are going to give that award away here in Sandusky County on November 14th. Nice. Yeah. Ed, have you seen Mr. Ed the Horse on TV? I have, and many of my athletes still use the nickname for me, Mr. Ed. That's cool. Yeah. 
Ed, have you ever been to Cedar Point? Uh, what is your favorite ride or roller coaster you've been on? These are good questions, Mike. I have been to Cedar Point. And my favorite ride is a ride that they just were planning to take out. It's called the Wicked Twister. Mm -hmm. And it probably comes in a strong tie with another ride that I think they're changing a little bit called the Top Thrill Dragster. Yeah. And what one thing you would like to advocate for? Um, I think probably one of the most important things to advocate for right now is, um, and kind of going along with the people first stuff, is that people with disabilities get equal pay for the work that they do. I totally, I totally agree. Ed, if you had a million dollars, what would you, what you, you use for? Um, I would probably take a trip to Alaska. Mm. One nice. on my bucket list. Yeah, that's a bucket list item for me is to go to Alaska. That's cool. What is your favorite movie, Ed? Um, my favorite movie is about um, the inventor of the modern sporting rifle his last name is Remington and it's about it's about two lions that terrorize the village and he's actually hired to go kill the lion Remington was that's cool what is, it, what is your favorite Halloween movie I all yeah, I movie. Um, I've always been a big fan of Friday the Thirteenth. Um, but the one that probably can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, perfect. What kind of car, what kind of car are you driving? Um, right now I'm driving my pickup. I had to load up some equipment today, so I brought the pickup so I could just throw the stuff in the back. That's cool. Thanks. Is, is there any questions that you want to ask me about? Can you hear me? Did you hear my question? No, I didn't hear it. Oh, okay. How long have you been involved in self-advocacy? Uh, it's been a long time. Uh, probably about three, four years. Cool. Um, do you have any leadership roles in self-advocacy? Um, I did once. I was the president of people, of people first in my county. Nice. Yeah. Um, when you were the president, um, what would you consider your chapter's best accomplishment? Um, getting, getting transportation for everybody. Oh, that is nice. Excellent. Um, tell me about the kind of work that you do? I'm an administrative assistant. Uh, I enter phones and, uh, and do a lot of um, special jobs for, for other people. Excellent. Um, do you have a big family or small family? A big. Cool. Are they all from Bowling Green? Nope, uh, actually, uh, they live in Perrysburg. Oh, okay. Did you know that Perrysburg is the hometown of Jim and John Harbaugh, the NFL coaches? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, Perrysburg High School. I actually went to Perrysburg High School 
to take my officiating classes. What so year? It was, um, this would have been like 2010 or 2009. Nice. Yeah. Um, another question I had for you, and it kind of goes along the line with some of your questions, is um, have you ever been to an amusement park outside of Ohio? And if so, which one? Actually, I went to uh, the one out in California. I think it was Six Flags. I went with, with my sister. Oh, very cool. I went to the Six Flags in Texas one time. It was nice. It was a good time. Perfect. Yeah. Um, do you participate in any Special Olympics? And if so, what sports? Uh, I, I used to do a lot of Special Olympics when I was younger. Yeah, so, like what? I did a whole lot. I did golf, swimming, track and field, basketball, volleyball. Awesome. Do you remember the names of any of your coaches? I do. Um, uh, we had so many coaches over the years, I can't remember all of them. Gotcha. I just wondered if I remembered any from Wood County from, from back in my coaching days. Cool. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is... It's a really good question, Ed. Uh, I think my favorite movie is, is Star Wars. Oh, okay. The newer stuff or the old stuff? The old stuff, but I do like the, some of the new. Okay. Yeah, I think my favorite was uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Nice. Yeah. Um, sports teams. Who is your favorite professional sports team? Uh, for professional, I like Miami Dolphins. Oh, they're doing really well this year. They beat my Steelers. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Um, and have you ever been to a professional sporting event? Uh, once in Ohio State in Columbus. Oh, nice. Do you remember who they played? I don't remember what and what team was they played. Tell you what, Columbus or Ohio State right now is the hot ticket. They've got a really good team. Yeah, and they beat my my Michigan State Spartans though. So. Yeah, but they're coming. Spartans are coming around. I think they got a good coach, so I think they'll come around eventually. Hey, yeah. um, do you do you take vacations? And if so, where do you go, or what do you do when you take vacations? Uh, usually, I like to go to Florida and Orlando. Nice. I was just in Orlando in June for USA Games. With nice. Kim. Yeah, I was there with Kim. Cool. Uh, do you have any pets? Uh, not not recently, but I had I had two guinea pigs when I was a kid. Very cool. I know a few people that have guinea pigs um someone that i know has a guinea pig named chinny and he calls him chinny the guinea <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was kind, of, kind of funny yeah uh, when right. i had when i had my guinea pigs i uh, they, they they were their names were jackie and midnight awesome so another exciting thing that I sometimes hear about are these tractor pulls in Bowling Green. Do you go to them? No. Okay, I wondered. I know some people do. In mm -hmm. Fremont, the big thing is the racetrack here in Fremont. They, nice. they actually love, they love the sprint cars here and they go to the races, which are not far from my house. So mm. I hear about it all the time, yes. That's cool. All right. Um, last question, Mike. Um, if you could be an ice cream flavor, what ice cream flavor would you be? Cookies and cream. There you go. Excellent. That's my last question. That's cool. Yeah. What is your favorite ice cream flavor? So I have two. I have mint chocolate chip. When I want something a little sweet, and then um, butter pecan, if I can get like a homemade 
butter pecan, I'll go for that. That's good. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite food? Um, I grew up a military brat. That means my dad was in the military and we traveled all over the place. One of the places that we lived in was Okinawa, Japan. So I like Japanese food. I like any Asian or Chinese food, Korean, that kind of stuff. Those are really good to me. That's good. How many Special Olympic sports that you've helped with? So right now in Sandusky County, we have 10 sport programs. Right now, we are doing basketball, cheerleading, swimming, and bowling. In the mm -hmm. summer, we have softball and disc golf. In the spring, we have bocce, volleyball, and I feel like I'm forgetting one, horseback riding, mm -hmm. and what am I forgetting? Softball, bocce ball, volleyball. Um, we send our athletes. Yeah, we send our athletes to do track to Port Clinton, and I think that's it. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we almost got almost same things in, in our kind of what you're doing too. But, uh, but you guys have you guys have flag football, don't you? Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. I think we might try to start that. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, there's two other things that, that you've been doing. We're not doing at all. I don't know why. Okay. And one is the cheerleading thing. I just wonder how we, we could get it in our county too. Yeah, cheerleader is a it's pretty it's a pretty easy sport to start. Um, we got a lot of help from Randy Barnes over in Henry County. We got help from Kelly Watson in Lucas County. Um, but we've been doing it. We've cheered at the fairs and we've done state competition. We used to do a cheerleading clinic. So if there's anybody like if Jen or Leanne needs any help with any of that stuff, we'd be glad to help out. Thanks. What is your favorite uh, thing to do when you're at home when you're in the coronavirus? Oh, uh, during a coronavirus? Well, every day at noon, we would, of course, watch Governor DeWine and his, uh, his presentation. Hang on a second. Let me uh, send this call to voicemail here. Sorry about that, Mike. It's okay. Um, and so we would do that. And then when the weather was nice, of course, we would go out on our back deck, and when we were allowed and the campgrounds opened up, we took our camper out camping and gardening. I grow a big garden at my house, so mm -hmm. uh, we did a little bit of that as well, but mostly that's about it. And then, you know, movies, of course. We watched quite a few movies and played some board games, that kind of stuff. That's cool. Yeah, how about you? What'd you do to stay busy? Um, usually I stayed home for a couple, about two months, and then I, I was paying, paying back in to work a little bit. Yeah. And then and when I was at home during that time, I tried to stay busy to watch at least two movies every night. Oh. Yep. And yeah. also I got outside because I just bought a nice good old uh playground ball to practice my volleyball skills gotcha what is your favorite song favorite song um i like the old time rock and roll bob seeger mm -hmm. and um Country song, you know, I like Kenny Rogers, The Gambler. That's a good one for country. And um, I like Prince. I think some of his music is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That's good. Yeah.
what what other TV shows that you're that, that you watch all the time? What's your favorite TV show? Yeah, so one of the shows that my wife and I watch quite a bit is a show that's called uh, Below Deck, and it's about people that run a charter business, like a yacht, mm. and they take care of people and serve them food and do entertainment. We watch The Masked Singer. I don't know if you've ever heard of that show, The Masked mm. Singer. And we watch some Netflix. So one of the shows that we watch on Netflix, it's kind of a scary one. It's called The Watcher, and it's about this guy or this person that just kind of keeps watching these people at this house and sending them letters, and you, you have to try to, it's a mystery, you have to try to figure out who The Watcher is. Mm. What is your favorite favorite roller coaster that you ever been on? Um, my so got point or I'll I'll say. Yeah, so Top Thrill Dragster is probably my favorite, but I did ride the Beast in Kings Island. That was a good one. And I also rode Steel Vengeance at Kennywood over in Pittsburgh. Nice. Yeah. What is your favorite college football team? College football, I'm going to go with Ohio State. Good. Professional. Professional is Pittsburgh Steelers because my dad worked for Wheeling Pittsburgh Steel and my father-in-law both worked for Wheeling Pittsburgh Steel. That's cool. Yeah. What is your favorite NFL team? Pittsburgh, for sure. Anything but Pittsburgh. I know you're a Pittsburgh fan, but what is the other team that do you like? We will watch Cleveland Browns because they're on TV a lot. Yeah. And and if it's not the Browns, we watch Detroit Lions, but we were a little sad when they traded Matt Stafford. He's oh. now with Los Angeles. Yeah, we like Matt Stafford, but now he's with the Los Angeles Rams. Yeah. What is your favorite basketball team? I'm not a big NBA basketball guy. Um, I like to see Ohio State Buckeyes college basketball. I like to see them win. Um, but if I had a favorite basketball team of all time, it would have to be Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls. You read my mind, Ed. That's my favorite team, too. Yeah, they're pretty good. And did you know that Michael Jordan has got the same name as me? Excellent. First and middle name is the same as me. Nice. Yeah, my coach Jeffrey. That's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. If if you were a president of the United States, what would you, what would you be? What would I do? Yeah, I would lower gas prices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that right. It's pretty expensive right now. So that. And I just try to help people get along a little bit better, treat each other better. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, what, what inspired you to, uh, to help with People First? So we started our People First program um, probably like back in 2000, 2001. And a gentleman by the name of Ralph Sparks and John Selvey and George Mullen, they all got involved and they asked me to help out kind of as an advisor. And I said, sure. So really it was those guys just asking me and saying, hey, you want to help us do this and start a chapter in Sandusky County? And I said, sure, why not? And uh, before too long, it kind of became a job. And so it worked out good. That's cool. What's your favorite thing about, about, about Project Stir? Um, I like how people can use the lessons in Project Stir to improve their lives and to meet their goals. Um, mm -hmm. I've seen some people make new friends, and um, I think it just kind of helps them get through some tough times when they think about, like, how to do some problem solving mm -hmm. or how to handle their emotions. So I think that part's important. Yeah. Uh, when are you going to start uh, Project Stir up again? We're hoping to start Project Stir. I'm going to switch over from my truck back to my phone, so I might lose you for a minute, but I just All want right. to let you know that. Um, we're planning on starting up.
Um, a couple other counties, we were hoping Seneca and Huron and Ottawa and Erie County would help us. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Okay, good. Sometimes it's a little touchy when I transfer from my Bluetooth in my truck to my phone. Yeah, of course. Oh. Okay. That's nice, home. I'm on the call with Mike for his amazing show. So this is my wife, Kathy. Hi, Mike. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How much, do you, how much do you know about Ed? Say that again. How much does, does she know about you? Ah, let me try to put this on speaker. I'm not sure if I know how. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, good. I was trying to put it on speaker, so I didn't hear the last thing that you said. Uh, I said, how much, uh, how much did she know about you? How does she know about me? Yeah. Uh, we have been together since the early 90s. We went to high school together, went to prom together. So Kathy nice. and I have been married now 26 years. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you like Green Bay Packers? I do not. <laughs> <laughs> do you like the Green Bay Packers? No. Okay. What is your favorite restaurant if you go out? So when we're in Fremont, we like to go to Casa Fiesta, which is the Mexican restaurant. Um, our favorite restaurant is a restaurant that we went to in Las Vegas. And it's called the top of the world. And it actually is on the top of a huge tower and it spins around in a circle and you can see the entire city. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite, uh, favorite thing to do when you get home? I like to relax, watch a little TV, uh, try to work out when I can. Cook. Good. I love to cook. Mm. That's about it. That's Didn't cool. Eat. I like to eat. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. What's your favorite meal that you ever cooked? Um, I like to cook things on the grill. So I like to cook hamburgers and hot dogs and grilled pork chops and maybe a steak every once in a while. That's cool. Thanks. If you were a character from Star Wars, what would you be? Um. My wife would be Baby Yoda because that's her favorite, but I would probably be Luke Skywalker because I want to use the lightsaber. Of course. Yeah. You know what I will be if I were a Star Wars character? Who's that? Darth Vader, the father. Okay. Right. There you go. The bad guy. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. What is your favorite? game that you ever played with with anybody um sports or games either one um sports is probably football i enjoyed that the most uh i do like card games like we we used to get into playing poker a lot like texas holding poker was fun but euchre is probably the best that's cool yeah um what is your favorite thing when you are at work? What's your favorite thing to do at work? Well, at work, um, trying to make sure that everybody has a good sports season, depending on what Special Olympic sports that they do. Um, I always like to get up and talk in front of people. That part is good. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Probably just like have some time to kind of hang out with coworkers. Like they have a potluck 
dinner every once in a while and they have a Christmas party. So those are always fun at work. That's cool. Uh, do you ever go to the parks having fun? We do. We go to Walsh Park. Uh, they have a disc golf course there and we like to walk there. And then we also go to a park that's called River Cliff. It's right on the Sandusky River. We do a lot of walking there too. And then all of our sports, our outdoor summer sports, they're all played at Roger Young Park. And so there's quite a few parks that we use in Sandusky County that we really like. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. What is your, uh, do you like hockey? I do. Hockey is probably one of my favorite sports. Pittsburgh Penguins is my team. And hopefully they make it into the playoffs again this year. Yeah. You know what's my favorite hockey team is? I will guess Detroit Red Wings. Nope, I like the, the Mighty Ducks. Oh, the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, yes. Yeah, we saw them play in Vegas against the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Nice. Yeah. Yep. Have you um, ever have you watched any movies like Disney movies? Like that, my ducks. What is your favorite Disney film that you ever seen? Um, Dis I don't know if it's a Disney movie or not, but a movie that is like Disney movies that I really enjoyed was a movie called The Polar Express. It's a Christmas movie. It's one of my favorite. Um, let me try to think back to so probably like in the 90s they had this disney movie about these dinosaurs and i remember a dinosaur called littlefoot but i can't remember what that movie was called land before time, land before time. thank you kathy yeah that's one of the ones that i remember and like the most yeah and the one that i like the most in the 90s was the tv show called dinosaurs okay gotcha that one's that's the one, one where the baby said not the mom not the mom right yeah i do remember that do you use facebook and social media yes i do oh okay cool well we'll have to try to connect on facebook for sure okay to see if i can You're muted, Ed. I said I'm not going to try to do it now because I'm afraid I'll lose you off this Zoom call. Wow. Uh, what is your uh, favorite thing to do when when you have free time? Um, we like to camp, for sure. Um, gardening, like I said, is important. Um, we do like to go bowling. We've done that before. And we have a pontoon boat, and we take that out on the river and nice. just go cruising up and down the river, just relaxing and enjoying the time. Good. What, what river do you go on? Sandusky River, right here in Fremont. That's cool. Yeah. Have you ever caught a big fish? I have. I've caught quite a few big fish. Um, some of the big fish that I've caught are muskies and walleyes. Uh, some trout and salmon, and even some bluegills and crappies. Good. Have you ever uh, cooked them? I have. Yes, I do. Good. Walleye and perch. That's good. Yeah, it's good for you, too. Yeah, it is. Have you ever tried sushi before? Sushi, yes. I've had sushi living in Japan. Sushi is a pretty regular thing. Uh, and when I feel like having sushi, I go over to the Kroger marketplace there and I, and I get a little bit of, uh, sushi with some wasabi and I enjoy that. It's pretty good. That's good. Do you like sushi? No, I don't no, like the don't. smell. I got you. Now, you know that they do make it to where all it is, is rice and vegetables, no mm -hmm. fish in it. Wow. Yeah, it's called a California roll. Mm. If you are a popsicle, which flavor are you? Um, grape. I think grape. 
That's good. Or maybe what's the green lime? I might I like lime too. That's good. Yeah. Uh, if you were a food, which food will you be? Well, I'm trying to get my special Olympians to eat healthy, so I got to go with like some kind of fruit. I eat an apple every day, so. Uh, as you can see in the background there, I always have a bowl of fruit in my house. And so an apple, I, I had a peach today, which was pretty good, uh, but the apple is my favorite. That's good. What kind of apple do you, do you like? Uh, Gala is my favorite, but I will, what's that other one that's, uh, it's like a honey crisp apple is another one that I really like. That's cool. Uh, what other sports do you like to play? Except for football. Sports. Yeah. Yeah, so football is good. Basketball is pretty enjoyable. We've been playing a little bit of bocce. We learned how to play bocce, and that's pretty fun. That's and, cool. Yeah, and softball. I really I coached softball for a number of years, so I like to, to hit and catch the ball in softball. That's cool. How's the softball team doing? Um, we did not do so great this season, uh, but we've got a lot of good returning players. So hopefully next year is a little bit better. That's cool. We did not make the tournaments this year. Oh. Crawford County beat us. Wow. They're good. They were good, though. So kudos and congrats to them. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite? Uh, uh, thing to do when you're uh, having fun? Um, listen to music. And um, I think sometimes, you know, we'll try to have a cookout is always a good way to get people together. And um, sometimes go out, you know, we'll go out and maybe have dinner or have a drink. And um, Trying to get with, you know, old friends that we haven't seen in a while, I think is always a good way to kind of celebrate. Uh, we're going to take a vacation over New Year's and go with some friends down into the Caribbean islands, down in the Dominican Republic. So we try to plan some stuff with friends when we get a chance to do that, too. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. When you go on vacations, what, uh, what state and uh, what, what do you like to visit? Um, so my vacations that I have planned, we're going to go to the state of Nebraska in 2023. We're going to go to the Dominican Republic, which is, you know, its own country. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go back to Las Vegas, Nevada. Nice. So our three vacation spots. Last yeah. year, we went to Colorado. So this year, we changed it a little bit. Yeah. What's your, uh, what's your favorite... Uh... Western movie. My favorite what kind of movie? Westerns. A Western. Um, I was a big fan of Clint Eastwood. Mm. So Pale Rider was always a good one. I like Tombstone and Wyatt Earp. I think those are some pretty good ones. Yeah, and there's one that you forgot that I really enjoyed. City Slickers. Oh, yeah, that's got uh, Billy Crystal, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, that was a comedy western. That was a good one. Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever rode a, a horse? I have, but I was a kid, so it's been a long time. Mm -hmm. And that's where you got the, the, your name, Mr. Ed, from, from riding a horse? I don't know about that. I think it just the Ed and some of those guys just remember that show. And so it's stuck, I guess. Yeah, I guess. What's your favorite uh, hockey te team that, that uh, played in Vegas? So we enjoy watching the Knights. And the reason that we went was a few like the the first year that they were an expansion team they got a lot of good players from pittsburgh and we were already going to vegas so i suggested we go watch the vegas knights play and it just so happened that they played your favorite team the mighty ducks mm -hmm. um but we did we did enjoy going there to see the ducks play 
Um, if I was going to go to a game in the future, I've always told my wife, um, the only way you get me to New York would to, to go to Madison Square Garden and see the New York Rangers play against the Pittsburgh Penguins. That's cool. Yeah, that's kind of like a bucket list thing. That's cool. Uh, do, you, do you like baseball? I do. Um, I don't like the change of the name from the Indians to the Guardians, but mm. I do like the Indians. And um, my favorite coach was a coach for Pittsburgh, and he ended up going to Detroit. He's retired now, and his name is Jimmy Leland. That's cool. Yeah. What's your favorite baseball movie? Um, Bull Durham was a good one. And what's the one about Cleveland? It had Wild Thing, Mitch. What was that called? And Serrano was the big hitter. I can't think of the name of that movie, but I remember and it was pretty funny. And then I watched one called Moneyball with Brad Pitt. And that was pretty cool. good. Too. Yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah, there's a couple, couple of good baseball uh, uh, flicks out there right now. I really do enjoy like. Field of Dreams. Yeah, that was a great movie. Yeah. And also my favorite one is Rookie of the Year. I don't know. Uh, I think I did see that one where he was like a kid, but then he was in the major leagues. Yeah. I, I did. That was a good movie. I did see that one. And also Angels in the Outfield. Yes. Another great baseball movie. Yeah. And we can't My, forget the uh, the famous Tom Hanks movie, I think, of their own. That's Kathy's favorite. She really enjoys that with Madonna and uh, Gina. What's her name? I forget her last name. But she likes that one with Tom Hanks. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you don't uh, mention that. Like that he said to your to your players when they do softball. There's no crying in softball. That's right. I say that quite often. There's no crying in softball. Um, what other sports do you, uh, do you like? Um, so a sport that I'm thinking about bringing to Special Olympics is a sport that's called pickleball. Pickleball. Hmm. Pickleball. And so it's it's kind of like tennis, but on a smaller court, but you use a paddle, almost like a ping pong paddle, but it's a little bit bigger. So mm -hmm. we're doing some research about pickleball, and we might do something to introduce that to Special Olympians. That's cool. Yeah, I'm really interested in it. Yeah, if you bring uh, pickleball uh, to your county, uh, if it had a good success with it, Hope, hope our country might do something like that too. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, then we could compete. Correct. That'd be fun. Yeah, for sure. Well, Mike, it's been a good, what, 50 minutes we've been talking. It's been awesome that you've invited me to the amazing Mike Stanford show. Yeah, because you're great, Ed. I appreciate it. So you yeah. say you had a show every other week is what you said every every week every week well i would like to try to send out some invites to some of our self-advocates in sandusky okay. and maybe we can get some people on and you can do some interviews with them get to know them a little bit better uh, i do appreciate Thanks. the time yeah i gotta wrap it up there's some stuff i need to get done here tonight and then it's an early morning for me your questions yeah. have been awesome you've been an amazing host yeah, thank you. Let me stop recording. Hey, no problem.